In part four of lecture four, we will discuss cooperating processes. On any computer system that runs more than one program at a time, it is possible that two or more of the processes will work together. One example of this is a word processor and a print spooler, where the word processor will prepare the text that will be printed and the spooler will schedule the printing of various documents on the system's printers. There are several advantages to allowing processes to cooperate in this fashion. They can share information. This will speed up computation even on a single processor system because one process can continue work while the other process will be blocked while it is awaiting the completion of an input-output operation. This is exactly the kind of situation that we have when our word processor and print spooler are working together as separate processes. Additionally, there is a sense of modularity that exists. This is particularly important in an operating system because by their very nature they are incredibly complex pieces of software. It is only by taking advantage of modular software design that we can design, implement, and maintain them. One classic example of concurrent processes that cooperate is the consumer-producer problem. In this problem, the consumer consumes whatever is available, but if there is nothing there, it has to wait until there is something to consume. While the consumer is busy consuming or waiting for there to be something to consume, the producer is producing. But if there is no place to put its product, the producer can't produce any more. In that event, it has to wait until the consumer has done some more consuming before it can continue. This is a good working model for the kind of situation that we describe for our word processor and the print spooler. The word processor in this case is the producer, producing more and more documents to be printed. The print spooler is our consumer, taking them and subsequently printing them. If there is a limit to the space allotted for spool files, there are only so many documents that can be scheduled for printing. Before printing another one, the word processor will have to wait before beginning to print another one. The consumer and producer processes will share the buffers as well as the variables in and out, which point to the next free position in the buffer and the first full position in the buffer. If in is equal to out, then the buffer is empty. If the remainder of in plus 1 divided by n equals out, then the buffer is full. Next p is the next item to be produced. After the producer produces an item, it has to determine if there is an available space in the buffer for it. If not, it has to wait until there is an available space. That's the reason for the while loop. Once it ascertains that there is an available spot, or after it waits for one to become available, it places the item in the buffer and then updates it so the consumer process knows that an additional item has been added. In the consumer process, the waiting comes first because there may not be an item to consume. If that's the case, and there is nothing in the buffer, it will have to wait until there is. Once there is something in the buffer, it will consume it and update out so the producer process knows that the slot is available. 